Hello! Happy post-Christmas pre-New Year's. It's not Wednesday. Uh, I'm here on a, I'm sorry, it's not Tuesday. I'm here on a Wednesday because we don't celebrate Christmas on Christmas. We celebrate Christmas the day before Christmas with one part of the family and the day after Christmas with another part of the family. So I could have done my update on Christmas, but I figured nobody would be around. So hi, I'm glad to see you. Let me find you all on the computer and then we'll dig right in to a, a kind of short update. There's still a bunch of stuff I can't tell you. Hey Mary, I'm glad you're here. I, uh, I, I really feel like romper room here. I see Mary, I see Scott, um, and Scott's too young to understand the, um, uh, the romper room comment. So let me, let me, I'm still trying to find you on the computer. Give me just one second. I don't want to show you the top of my head. I think we're on. Hello. I can ho hopefully read all of your, um, your comments here instead of across the room. So hello. And Angie, I'm glad you're here. Um, Debbie, you were looking for me, but I was setting up lights because we still have house guests and things were a little crazy. Um, oh, you love romper room. Thanks. You are Debbie. Okay. Hi. Um, Oh, you see Debbie. Yeah, why aren't I looking on here? It's behind on my computer, apparently. So, happy Wednesday, really a Tuesday. Um, I have several things to talk about, but the first one, for those of you who follow me on Facebook or Instagram, a bunch of you have been messaging me, asking me about my, uh, my boo-boo. Uh, let me see here. So, uh, if you have a New Year's resolution to exercise and um, clean your house. And those are pretty popular, you know, pretty popular New Year's resolutions to be sure you exercise and to clean your house. And I just want to tell you, don't do it. Do not exercise and don't clean your house. Both of those things are hazardous to your health, especially when put together. So I was in my fitness room the other day and I had, um, there were some dust bunnies in the corner. So I reached over to, um, to bend down and sweep them up with a little handheld vacuum and the end part of a barbell, not the part that the barbells are on, but the bar part of the weights. Um, I couldn't see it in this part of my lens. And when I reached down to vacuum, um, into the corner, I smacked my mouth. Um, against the barbell. So it's actually really hazardous to your health and I don't recommend doing it. Um, and I will say I'm much better now once I realized I didn't break my teeth. Um, and my teeth have stopped hurting so now it's just a little bit of a fat lip and it'll be healed and it'll be absolutely fine. Uh, let's see, I'm seeing somebody's writing stories on here. Uh, oh and the romper bomper stompers, I have those. Um, so my lip is okay, it's a little fat, and I'm hoping to film some videos later this week, and believe it or not, the first thing I thought of before I even stood up to see if I'd broken my teeth, how much blood there was, or how much damage there was, was I'm supposed to film this week, and I just smacked my mouth on a barbell. So um, I will be doing some filming once my house guests leave, and if you notice that I have um, just a little plump lip, we'll just call it a collagen injection, um, and leave it at that. If, if you don't tell anybody, I won't either, that it was I smacked my face on a barbell. So, hi. Um, that's the first thing I wanted to get out of the way. Uh, the second thing, for those of you who missed it, Cutie Madness ended on Friday. And thanks to little hands running through my house, I have a copy of this quilt that lives permanently on my wall. And I should say permanently until small children grab on it. So here's Jack's star that I have not yet hung back up. It just came down a couple hours ago. So this is my personal copy of Jack's star that lives on my wall. And it is the 2017 winner of Cutie Madness. This was, uh, it was pretty close. Field of Flowers nearly made it. Uh, that was number two. So Jack's star was the winner. Thank you so much for playing along. And I have three fun contests already planned for you next year. Um, I think you're going to like them because, you know, prizes and all of that. So here's Jack's star. We'll get rid of that over here. I'll hang it up later on. Uh, so let's see. It doesn't show much on your iPad. I'm glad that my fat lip doesn't show much on your iPad. Uh, because, yeah, it's better now. Um, and it'll get even better. 
So that the Cutie Madness is ended. Uh, there's going to be a new contest starting that'll be different, and that'll be starting um, late winter, early spring, and I think you'll have fun with it. Um, I have a really great one coming over the summer, and in the fall I'm thinking of doing a new version of Cutie Madness, so we'll see what happens. Um, so there. So Cutie Madness. Oh, the next thing I want to tell you about the quilt that was behind me. This is Share and Share Alike. It is the, er the early prototype of Share and Share Alike. Uh, the quilt that is in the Cutie Quilt line, which was one of the top four winners of Cutie Madness, it was only 16 blocks. And this is 81 blocks. So this was an early prototype, and I sized it down to fit into the Cutie Packs. So this was a um, years ago pattern of mine, and this is my bedspread which is my Christmas bedspread. It's an old Moda line, and I just stripped it off my bed today because it's not Christmas anymore. So I have to change my bedspread, and I thought I'd show it to you. So this is what Share and Share Alike looks like if you make it a lot bigger. Uh, 81 blocks, that would be 16, 32. So that would be at least five packs of cuties um, to make it. But this is queen size, and it's a bedspread um, on my bed, and it was nice and snuggly for the month of December. So we have, oh, I put out a new tutorial yesterday, um, if anyone saw it. If you're like me and didn't get any Christmas cards out or only got like four out, it's not too late to have Happy New Year or Season's Greetings cards. So I put a tutorial out yesterday about making this little snowman postcard. Uh, it was using um, my crumbs in my scrap bin. I seriously, this is in the bin that normal people would throw away. I just pulled out a bunch of little pieces of creamy type fabrics and sewed them together like Victoria Finley Wolf shows in her book. And this is a string, just too skinny to sew with anything, but I cut it and made a scarf. And it's a little flappy here. So that's, um, a, that's gonna be a new year card that some of you um, have already seen online. And for the rest of you, if you go to debbiebrownquilts.com and click on the blog link on the left side, this should be one of the top posts on it if you scroll down. This was yesterday's post. I have something different up there today. So look for more uh, postcard tutorials. And I'm gonna try to grab all the tutorials that I've done on the postcards and put them in one place that it's easy um, for you to find them instead of scrolling through. Hey Eileen, I'm glad you're here. Um, so let's, let's see, Mary, you painted Jack Star on your back fence. Fence, very cool. Um, it's, uh, it was a fun quilt. Sorry, I was looking behind me, but it's not there. It's over on the chair. So anyway, if you need some winter postcards in your life, try this one. Um, what else do I have going here? Oh, it is New Year coming, which makes me more excited than I could possibly express. Now, I am starting the New Year off um, with medical treatments that don't make me very happy. So I'm going to start the New Year off online with things that do make me very happy. So. Stay tuned for January 2nd. I have something really fun planned for you online while I'm hooked up in the hospital. Um, because, you know, I'm fine. It just keeps me fine. Uh, it's just really not that much fun the day I go through it. But because it's New Year's, I wanted to show you. This is my bullet journal from last year. I, this is from August 1st till the end of December. So not even six months of my life. This is my new bullet journal that I'm starting. We'll start on Monday and it's all clean and pretty and I've already started getting it organized. So a couple of you have asked about how I have time to quilt and about the organization, um, about my bullet journal. I've been asked a lot about this. So I thought I would put out um, a blog post uh, on Monday showing you how I go through and do this. Um, let me, uh, so if you have any questions, post them and I'll try to answer them specifically. Uh, let's see, I think there's a couple new questions coming in here. Oh, you're watching you while on the road heading to Florida. Oh, yeah, not Florida here. It was like seven degrees. We're up to 22 now, but I hope you enjoy that. Uh, have you tried the quilters planner? Yes, I did try the quilters planner, um, but the bullet journal actually works better for me. Um, and then the quilter planner is fabulous. It's the, one of the best planners I've ever found. Um, but I, it can't with. I have a weird life, and it just it can't be constrained into little boxes that somebody else drew for me. 
So this is my bullet journal and I will put a post up. But if you have questions about bullet journaling, uh, let me know because I was going to put a, a video together for you uh, to put up on Monday. So I have that going. Um, let's see, the other new thing I have is tea. Ronnie's in the house. Hey, Ronnie, I'm glad you're here. Uh, Ronnie does not know it, but she has played a large part in what we will all be doing here next year. Um, so I haven't told her yet, and I can't tell you yet what we're doing, but it was inspired by Ronnie. So what is bullet journaling is the question. Uh, it's just a different way of calendaring, um, in, and you use a blank notebook instead of um, using a printed one. So it's just the way I calendar and keep all my stuff organized. Ronnie, no, it's all good. I think you'll be excited. And yes, Eileen, I am a tease. I'm pretty good at it. Um, because some things I don't want to tell you, and a bunch of other things I just can't tell you yet. Um, I keep thinking the contract will come through, but I've heard January 1st I get to start talking about it. Uh, there may or may not be a sneak peek on my blog today if you want to click over there. Uh, so I think the last thing I had to show you was my teacup. Um, now this is the same teacup you probably see all the time um, because it's never much further than this from my hand, but in our house we are tea people. And if you looked at all of the presents that were opened in our house and exchanged with each other, I think half of them were tea um, because we're just tea people. And this one is Harney Cinnamon Hot Spice. It is amazing tea. So if you're tea drinkers, I encourage you to check it out. Um, Harney, H-A-R-N-E-Y, is actually a local tea company. Uh, they're within an hour's drive of me. The tea is mixed and, um, and blended there, um, but they sell all over. So I have my little list of what I want to tell you. Yes, yes, told you, told you, told you. Yeah, I've told you everything on my list. But what I haven't done is asked you a question. Oh, a big old question came through. Can I see it? Let me see if I can read it. So it's writing down thoughts regarding quilts that you're working on or gathering items for instead of trying to remember everything. There's, that's definitely part of it. Um, because if I have an idea, I just turn the page and then sketch it all out, and then I can always find it and don't lose it. Uh, I thought I drank Tazo. I did. I had that this morning. It's now afternoon. Um, so I, uh, I also drink Harney Paris, and I drink a tea Vana in the evening. So I have, I'm, I'm um, an indiscriminate tea drinker. Depends on the caffeine level that I need throughout the day. The bullet journaling is also my calendar, like when my dentist appointment is, um, what time my flight is when I go on my next event, things like that. So my like real life stuff is in there, but it also keeps track of all the other stuff that I need, um, books I've read, books I want to read, um, just anything I can think of, it's all in here. So I will be mentioning that. Thank you for asking. Um, bullet journaling is something that a lot of people talk about and those of us who love it, love it, but nobody really explains it very well. Um, so you can Google it and look up videos and stuff. Um, there's books on it, uh, but I, uh, several people have asked me to show um, my journal, so I will. Uh, I'm just gonna film that for you for Monday, for New Year's. So the last thing that I have before New Year's starts is a question for you. What is your favorite that is not my question I'm trying to read and and talk to you at the same time uh, oh I will explain it oh no I lost all of swipe left did I get them back I lost all my comments so let's see can I read it Ooh, I like that keep notes on my phone with quilts that I'm gathering parts for yes I know read well on my phone and I thought I'd explain it um, I I will explain it. It's my whole life. I love I love my bullet journal. And the, the thing that makes it really hard to explain is every single person does it differently. So it's really hard to say, bullet journaling, just go do whatever you want. And nobody knows how to jump in. So I'll just show you what I do and see if that sparks anything in you. Um, because most people try to get organized in the new year. I try to get organized all the time. It just never, never quite as organized as I want to be. Uh, so the question that I have to ask you, um, I think most of the people who've tuned in here are probably quilters because I seem to hang out with mostly quilters. What is your biggest concern, problem, fear 
about machine quilting, whether it's machine quilting on a home sewing machine, a sit down long arm or a long arm machine. What is the biggest concern problem that you have? You can answer me here. Um, you can post it on my Facebook page. You can answer it on one of my blog posts, whatever you like. Um, you can answer it. I'll ask this question in my newsletter tomorrow as well. What is your biggest fear about machine quilting? Because we have a lot of unfinished quilt tops hanging around. I, even I do. Um, some of them are finished, are left unfinished because I simply didn't have time to get to them. But some of mine are left unfinished because I'm afraid um, that I'll pick the wrong design or that it won't look as good as it looks in my head. So I know even on my own quilts, it's my fear that keeps me from finishing some of my quilts. So what is your biggest fear about machine quilting? Um, that's the question that I would love for you to answer for me. Um, and I will be working all of 2018 to answer some of them for you. Hopefully, and we'll work through them together. So, it is Wednesday. I will not be here next Tuesday. I'm gonna be in the medical center. Um, I'll be here Wednesday, probably kind of low key, because I'm in, next week's a recovery week for me. Um, and for those of you who don't know, I go through routine medical treatments that just keep my awesome level high, but while I'm going through them, they're not so awesome. So I won't be here next Tuesday. I will be here next Wednesday, but I will be putting out videos and newsletters and blog posts so you won't miss me too much. Speaking of newsletter, it would be a really good idea if you haven't signed up for my newsletter to do so. Um, and if you haven't done so yet, go to debbiebrownquilts.com and scroll down. It's uh, email newsletter or newsletter something. I forget the words my website uses. Um, that's in the template. I didn't write it. Um, that one bullet point for you to click. So click that and sign up for my newsletter because I have a bunch of things and some are going out only to newsletter subscribers. And if you have any friends that you think would be interested in getting the tutorials and the videos and stuff that I put out, have, um, send the link to them to subscribe as well. So that's pretty much what I've got going on here. Um, the other thing is New Year's Eve. Does anybody have major New Year's Eve plans? Because I don't. Um, we used to have really big rockin' New Year's Eve parties um, when all the kids were around, but now the parties are at their houses. Um, so I'm probably gonna be quilting into the new year. Uh, and I may be doing some live posting then. Uh, if you're gonna be quilting into the new year, uh, join me and we'll, we'll chat and quilt into the new year together, okay? All right, I'm seeing some hearts go up. Um, thanks for visiting with me today, everybody. Uh, if, you if you have a chance, answer some of the questions, um, leave some comments on this post, and I will be back to speak with you next Wednesday. Um, I'm gonna go and write my newsletter now so that you can get it tomorrow morning. Um, thanks for checking in. I hope you've had an awesome season and we'll have a wonderful New Year's. I'll check you early in the new year. Take care, happy quilting.